like, looks kind of like a brown paint, but I think it's fun. And put those in there, little pockets. Papers, avocado dyed. This one is avocado and tie dye, a little bit in there. A little scrap of fabric I just stapled to the side here. I love this page. It's uh, printed graph paper. This is from the kit also, from one of the kits. Some avocado and coffee dyed paper at the same time. Coffee dyed, I was kind of getting, just seeing what textures I could come up with, what different effects could I come up with. This is super cool. It actually is from coffee that was in the grass. So when I set the paper down in the grass, it gave these little, um, these little texture spots to it. I thought it was really cool. Here's some ledger paper. It has that minty green look minty green look to it and then when I coffee dyed it it came out a little bit darker we have an eco dyed a little washi tape butterfly anything washi tape I use in the journal I do glue it down either um, with a glue stick or what, whatever adhesive I have on hand really <laughs> so here's the middle of our signature it's very similar to the middle of our last signature but it's not identical and I think that's what made it for me, it tied it together. I've been working really hard to not be matchy-matchy, um, but still have a cohesiveness. Um, this was a little bit uneven here when I was gluing everything in, and if I could tell it was uneven, it was definitely uneven. So I just put a piece of washi tape over it and smoothed it out. So there's that. Uh, opposite corners here just trying to give a little bit of balance but still plenty of journaling room for them to write or add whatever they would like to add it's not terribly chunky this is I believe a tuck tuck spot um, it's not terribly chunky or anything like this but it is uh, it, it could be left as is and be sufficient um, and just written in but there's definitely room that they could tuck other items in here and this is just a soft piece of yarn that I've stapled on and some more scrapbook paper, stamp, avocado, and tie-dye. <laughs> Here's a little card or a little piece of paper. I just glued some little scraps to it and cut a little heart out there. And here is a tag. This was actually a color and I accidentally printed it in black and white and I thought, wow, that'll look really good in my fall, in the faithful, one of the faithful journals. So there she is. Um, and to cover this one, I think something happened with a staple on the back. So to cover the jaggedness, I just put a piece of cloth, washi, and I, I love this fabric washi. It's really over the top. Um, back this onto a piece of uh, painted cardstock, just like a splatter paint. It's almost like an iridescent. I don't know if you can really tell. It's like an iridescent shimmery. It's not glitter in the regards of like going to flake off, but it does have a shine to it. And I thought with the butterfly, <laughs> butterfly, it went together really beautifully. And I have a larger tag on the back with a bit of a floppy top uh, scrap that got dyed. And again, smoothed out the back with that washi. I don't want them to cut themselves. That would be very unfortunate. Um, and this is uh, paper that I went ahead and it was too long for the page. So I cut it off and then I ripped it to give it some texture, inked it up, put a piece of cotton lace on it, and now it's a pocket. Ta-da! Oh, this was here too because I had to patch up the Fabrifix on the back here. Um, and that's the end of the last signature. And in the back here, I have these uh, tiered pockets, I suppose is what they're called. So this back one goes all the way down to the bottom so it holds something larger. And I just put a little, um, I glued music paper, back-to-back -back avocado music paper, avocado dyed music paper, and this little sentiment that I had stamped out one night and um, put some liquid pearls on there. And so that goes in the back like a, maybe like a bookmark. And the shorter pocket in the front, I did a similar thing with the postcard and made it look like it's been actually across, across and sailed and arrived to destination. So ending with that right there and back cover. The charms or dangle or 
again, not knowing the right terminology, these little pieces that I used here, they all came from Amazon and it was one of those multi multi-pack kits. So we've got leaves, a few crosses, a heart, and a different kind of leaf. So this is in their style. This is something that I believe they will thoroughly enjoy. And again, having the three of them be uh, such close to each other, not in distance, but just close to each other in general, I thought it would be really fun for them to be able to explore this together. So um, yep, there they are, and they're all, again, very similar. So I'll go ahead and put the links for as, for as much of the items I can find um, that I use to create these. So I hope you enjoyed looking through uh, this series with me, and I'd like to see some of the items that you guys are creating if you guys are really into fall like I am this year. Um, either way, I'll see you down in the comments, and, of course, back here again at Lovely's Crafting Lodge.